Grandport City, Grandport City. People are nice and hearts are pretty. A past to remember, a future that's fun. Ours is a city moving with the time. And that's a thing too, right? A lot of the stuff I do. I know I'm not going to make a ton of money off it, like uh, stuff like this with the, you know, these kind of drawings. I love doing them, but it's not necessarily something somebody wants to hang over the couch. I'd say Brantford Market, you know, I think people would rather have their the ducks in the pond and, you know, go to Walmart and buy the picture already in the frame and hang that up kind of thing, but you know, whatever. Not a lot of other people are doing Brantford stuff. When I started doing the editorial cartoons for Brantford, I realized that it's kind of fun and that people like that it's something about Brantford instead of, you know, it's like, so here's this town that so many people are like, whatever, this, you know, kind of middle of the road, middle sized, whatever type town in, in uh, Southern Ontario. And then somebody puts a spotlight on it. And I think people enjoy that because they can relate to it. It's like so much of it is, almost that feeling like a, this little inside joke that you get. Not a lot of people really focus on like small town uh, events and people. And, and I've really kind of got fixated on all these Brantford series that I've done. Like the last, probably the last four or five series I've done have all been Brantford, Brantford, Brantford. The uh, series that I just finished up um, was uh, uh, a series of portraits of so-called like Brantford people. I just made them fictional characters, uh, but based on a lot of Brantford events, history, you know, just kind of quirks about Brantford. So a lot of them seem very familiar to people, but uh, in reality, they're all just made up and fictional. But it was kind of fun with having the sort of the parallel universe of Brantford, because then that just gave me a bit more freedom to play around with the stories and the characters. Yeah, but this one, this one I came up with the Daredevil character. And that was because uh, my uncle's, or sorry, my uncle, my uh, cousin is a stunt man in town. So he's, uh, and he got started out doing all stuff on bikes and doing stunts and stuff. And he got into the film industry. So, and so his name's Jamie Jones and this guy's, uh, James Jonah. So some of the names are pretty similar. And I worked the Paris Fair into there and uh, modern day stuff. Um, I've got the, the music promoter. So Gazebo Fest that fell through. So I thought that was kind of uh, maybe a little parallel to a Hockey Fest from a few years ago. So I just set it in the 1950s instead. And then I was able to tie it into uh, this character here, who was like the recording star from Brantford. So all of them, I tried to have like a connection that they tied in with another character. So this, so these two, he's a music promoter, she's a performer. Um, we've got the, the daredevil guy. That ties into the Zamboni driver, who I think is, he's over there on the, on the counter.